Good morning at 655. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start on this election day. The polls are open and Josh Navarro is live in Rochester where one line is stretching out the door. Josh, good morning. Good morning to you, Mark. We're here at the Ark of Jesus Ministries off North Winton Road, and you can take a look. All the, these voters are lining up, and everybody is waiting to voice their choice on this good election day. And as you can see, it goes all the way down to the street. More than 282 sites will be open for people to cast their ballots. Uh, about 95 polling sites in the city, 187 scattered throughout the counties, towns, and villages. All expectations inspectors at the polling sites will be masked and there will be hand sanitizer. Voters will not only vote for the president, but also for the 25th Congressional District, as well as a handful of state and Senate assembly races and judge races. You can also drop off your absentee ballot at the polling sites, but also make sure that you check your specific polling site if you plan on to vote in person. For now, we're live in Rochester this morning. I'm Josh Navarro. News 8. What an amazing sight, Josh. Uh, thank you. For more on the candidates and what you need to know as you head to the polls, check out our 2020 Election Day Voter Guide at RochesterFirst.com. Well, Election Day is here. President Trump and his Democratic rival, Joe Biden, holding multiple rallies across five swing states Monday. More than 96 million Americans have already voted. The polls open until 9 o'clock tonight here in New York. Well, the Rochester Police Department releasing a 90-day fact-finding plan. Newly appointed Chief Cynthia Harriet Sullivan says the plan will help her and others evaluate how the department can improve. She also says it will help improve community relations. An update this morning on the crash that killed a teenager and left five others injured in Webster. 18-year-old Brody Spade died after his car hit a tree on Gasberry Lane over the weekend. Webster police are still investigating, but say speed could have been a factor there. At the crash site, flowers and pictures have been placed in Spade's memory. Three of the five passengers in that car are in satisfactory condition. Two have already been discharged from the hospital. SUNY Cortland will not be resuming in-person classes this semester. The college suspended in-person instruction and went online back on October 7th after more than 100 positive cases were reported in two weeks. The suspension was supposed to be temporary. There have now been nearly 600 COVID cases on campus since the semester began. The school will allow students who test negative for COVID to go home early. Well, have a look at this. Officials in Nicaragua moving to evacuate citizens with Hurricane Ada on the way. The Category 4 storm expected to hit the Atlantic coast of Central America early this morning. The U.S. National Hurricane Center has sent out warnings about possible flash flooding and winds up to and over 150 miles per hour. Josh, quite the storm uh, in the tropics there. Yeah, a monster hurricane, one for the books for sure. In our neck of the woods, very quiet weather to be had here on this election day with uh, barely a breeze. This after winds approaching 50 miles per hour last Last night, the winds diminished dramatically today, but we still have a chill. The normal high is in the low 50s. We're only into the low 40s, I think, for a top temp today, but just for one more day because what's waiting in the wings is some wonderfully warm weather uh, here for November. Uh, skies are trying to break a little bit, starting to see the clouds break up for a, a touch of sun, so we'll see a fleeting break or two in the overcast as the day uh, goes along. Nothing more than a rogue sprinkled or flurry this morning east of Rochester, so that'll be fading. Uh, again, just a quiet uh, election day weather-wise, maybe even some uh, nice clearing by later tonight. Sounds like a plan, Josh. Thank you. That's it for us for now here on News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update is coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Be safe, go vote, and have a great day.